you're looking for the most beautiful places in Italy and for the best luxury hotel there? Well, in this video, we take you to a sun-kissed, long-time jet-set destination, Italy's beautiful Amalfi Coast. And we check into the most beautiful new ultra-luxury hotel there. Welcome to In Bed With Luxury. The Amalfi Coast is a worldwide celebrated stretch of coastline in southern Italy. It's a jet-set destination since the 60s, but in fact it has been an attraction to upper-class Europeans since the 18th century as a stopover on their grand tours. The coast is named after Amalfi, and wow, we are just flying over it with our magic travel balloon. In summer, the Amalfi Coast is overrun with tourists, so for luxury seekers, you really need to know the breathtaking hideaways off the crowds. Enjoy our luxury expedition to a jaw-dropping luxury hotel, and I also recommend to watch our shorty about the 10 things you should know about Amalfi. My name is Charles Paddington, and you have luckily found In Bed with Luxury, the unique travel channel. We've tested beautiful luxury hotels, cruises and destinations all over the world and this time it's a world-beating, breathtaking hotel called Borgo Sant'Andrea. But here we are, let's hop out of the car. Yes, it looks so beautiful, but why do we think this hotel is really special? As mentioned already, the Amalfi Coast is overrun by visitors in the high season, but there are only a handful real luxury hotels. Imagine millions of tourists and just about 2,000 luxury beds available. And among these few five-star properties that attract the jet set, there is only one with a direct access to a private beach. The Borgo Sant'Andrea. The stunning 90 meter height of this vertical wonder provides for exceptional views from every point of the resort. All rooms have floor to ceiling windows and, of course, sea views. There are even eight suites with private pools. This required equally exceptional infrastructure that starts with eight elevators extending from the terrace at the top of the hotel to the private beach at the base of the cliff. And then the location, just a short drive away from Amalfi and yet totally secluded from the crowds. This location is incredible. On the left side, the luxury villa of actress Sofia Lorraine and her husband, film producer Carlo Ponti. And on the right side of the hotel, another legendary place. Americans discovered the Amalfi Coast with Jackie Kennedy, who had an alleged affair with Italian multimillionaire and playboy Gianni Agnelli. Jackie was 30 and beautiful. Every morning she took her convertible Fiat 600 and went to this bay for water skiing, her favorite sport. Much to the delight of the yellow press, the first lady also loved to sail on the famous Villiero Blue, the blue sailing ship of course, accompanied by handsome Gianni Agnelli. But let's focus for a moment to the lush gardens, full with flowers and mature olive, lemon and pomegranate trees. Our garden, as you can see, we have uh, fantastic uh, roses growing, but the uh, most important thing, we have the famous uh, lemon of the Amalfi Coast, the Spusato, which is uh, very decorative, but plus uh, our chef, Crescenzo Scotti, is uh, a master preparing amazing uh, Italian and Mediterranean dishes. 
plus we have a plumbago and agapanthus that blooms in the blue flowers and uh, it's beautiful to come here in uh, high season and see what uh, effect is uh, see the panorama in the middle of this fantastic blue. And in a few days we will have this uh, wall totally covered by white jasmine which will, which will give uh, a fantastic uh, perfume. Something very inter interesting also is uh, our uh, uh, Myrtus garden, which is a fantastic example of uh, uh, originality uh, of Mediterranean garden. Well, what else I can tell you? I just cannot wait to see you here and show you this uh, paradise in person. Thank you. The story of this magic place starts in the legendary 60s when an engineer entrepreneur built the Grand Hotel Saraceno, inspired by a fortress against pirates. The Saraceno became a bit run down and was bought by two experienced hotelier families from the near island of Ischia in 2017. All in all, they invested more than 70 million euro for a property with just 45 rooms. They closed the property for four years and radically transformed the existing 1960s hotel and carried out an ambitious yet respectful restoration. They filled it with the finest selection of Italian furniture often taken from the owner's private collection of mid-century design pieces. Lots of things were custom made, like 31 different sorts of tiles. Good morning and very welcome to Borgo Sant'Andrea. My name is Maurizio Glacchio, I am the owner and the general manager of this beautiful property that uh, we uh, opened last summer with a soft opening and uh, two and a half weeks ago our uh, 2022 season started. When we first met with the architect uh, in the 2017, our idea was uh, to create uh, a private uh, luxury villa on the Amalfi Coast rather than the classical hotel. And looking uh, at the outcome, we are very proud to welcome all the guests to enjoy this beautiful project. Three restaurants, uh, the only five-star resorts with uh, a uh, private uh, beach, 45 rooms, a private jetty. So Borgo Sant'Andrea is the perfect escape place for uh, an Italian summer. So looking forward to uh, welcome you all. I hope you know that one day I can uh, meet you in one of our terraces uh, drinking uh, a nice uh, Italian Amalfi Coast lemonade. Grazie. Yes, this is not a room with a view, it's a whole hotel with a view. One of our favorite places is the Terrazza Bar with jaw-dropping views and cocktails that make you dream.
This is the Borgo San Andrea seen from the sea. All in all, a vertical wonder. But for many, the ace in Borgo San Andrea's pocket will be its beach, one of the very few naturally occurring private ones on this coast. The elevator descends through solid rock to a stone passageway that opens onto the beach club, a former fisherman's boathouse. We like the long bar with indoor-outdoor seating and even more Al Borgo, the hotel's Alfresco beach restaurant serving simple classics.
I am Sonia, the spa manager of Burgo Sant'Andrea. Um, this is uh, the cabin for uh, the treatment, um, face, body, uh, ritual. Ritual Burgo Sant'Andrea is very, very good. <laughs> Are you hungry from watching? Well, we have an appointment with a chef, a Michelin star chef. Maybe he can do some spaghetti for us. My name is Crescenza Scotti. I'm the head chef and I work uh, with the 23 chef. In Borbo San Andrea, there are four restaurants for a different concept, but all restaurants uh, work with fresh food. most important is the breakfast. Signa Dutrish in the library is uh, lobster cappuccino. What is a lobster cappuccino? Lobster cappuccino is a seared lobster with uh, potato cream foam and on top uh, black ink powder. Mm -hmm. uh, like is a cappuccino because uh, uh, and down we have a lobster like a, a sugar, potato cream uh, like with uh, milk and on top mm -hmm. uh, cocoa. If you had only one more meal in your life? Uh, I love the simple food. Yeah. I love the cherry tomato with the pasta. Mm -hmm. I love the risotto. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy. Mm -hmm. Because I work with all ingredients every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the evening uh, I love to eat with uh, a, a, few, a few food and uh, easy, easy food. I'm tired to, to eat uh, a special food.
that's all for now. If you liked our little luxury expedition, please subscribe and for more details, see our website. All the best. Enjoy life. Your Charles Paddington. Thank you.